five minutes, Jeff, on your first course, please. OK. Go for it. Jeff's doing burrata with a smoked and pickled beetroot tartare, served with rye, honey and sea salt crackers, walnuts and a basil oil. Quite intrigued about the smoked and pickled beetroot. Sounds interesting. I think it could work, but it needs to be delicate with the flavourings. Otherwise, it could just be a complete washout. Looking lovely, Jeff. Oh, good. Careful, careful with that. Careful, so careful. Sorry. Use your thumb on the end. Jeff, it looks delightful. Oh, good. We'll be running out of time. Yep. Come on! Okay, here we go. Cracker, cracker. Cracker. Go. Go, thank go, you. go, go, go. Go. Go, go. Hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> OK. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Today, I have prepared for you a beetroot tartare with burrata, basil oil, walnuts, a rye cracker and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. It smells really good. First impressions, it's making me hungry, and that's a good sign. The cracker is really good. Really good. The combination, the smokiness and the pickled beetroot. I was worried it was going to be overpowering, but actually it's not. It cuts through the nice, rich burrata. That's amazing. This is really good cooking. That little bit of pickle and the faintest hint of smoke just rounds it. And did you guys see Jeff's apron was clean? <laughs> it was a white apron, and he's working with beetroot. That's mm. a sign of a great chef in that's, the making. That's <laughs> impressive. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Jeff has absolutely nailed it. He's nailed it in texture and in flavour. This is about taking the finest ingredients and putting a cook's hands on it, and that's what he's done. I love the look of every dish. I want to taste that fish, but I'm really looking forward to that lamb. Irini's starter is red mullet with a squid risotto, confit tomatoes, a rosemary and garlic sauce with bataga or grey mullet roe and an aged balsamic foam. Your red mullet is beautiful. It falls apart. It's beautifully flavoured. It's beautifully seasoned. Throughout that risotto, the rich fish stock is wonderful. The flavour of squid is just there. Sweet tomatoes floating around with this exploding in your mouth is great. I don't really want to scrape my plate for Batago, though. I'd really like to be able to just have a little bit across the top, if that's all right. It's beautiful fish work. Your red mullet, slightly oily, strong, really good. The squid inside the risotto is beautifully well done. I only get a hint of sweetness from that balsamic, a hint. I get more sweetness from the tomato. It makes it a real summer dish. I'm making it. My crumb is not. I burned my crumb. I forgot it. That's not burned. Come on, come on. That's not burned. I can salvage a little, but now it's going to be hot. Sixty seconds. Last sixty seconds. It's just not working. It's just not working. I can't. I can't. That's it. Time's up. Time is up. Delia, come on.
nice bit of sparkle on your plates. I like the colours a lot. Delia Starter is a prawn bisque risotto with smoked paprika and almond crusted scallops, chorizo crisps, wild garlic aioli, sea fennel and lemon caviar. Your scallops are cooked perfectly. There's just the right amount of bounce. Lemon caviar balls give a really lovely little bit of sharpness, almost as if you have squeezed a bit of lemon on the end of your tongue. It's lovely. But the beauty of it is the bisque that's flavouring the beautifully cooked risotto. That bisque is deep and almost sweet. Thank you. What I really love is that wild garlic aioli. It's rich, it's warm, it's spicy. So you've got the sort of sweetness and subtlety coming from prawns and bisque, the richness of the, the rice, and then the aioli. It's fantastic. Love it. Thank you. What do you think of this challenge? Normally, like, that'd go my, my compost heap rather than uh, being used the next day for anything. Thomas is going to use scallops and salmon. First of all, the scallops and the salmon are going to become a ravioli. He's using the salmon bones to make a stock. The stock then will make a velouté. There's some fantastic inventions in here. Absolutely fantastic. I want to show John and Greg that my food today is that tasty, that there's no way that it could have come from a bowl of scraps. It seems quite a task just to look at that and see something delicious emerging from what looks like a mess. You have 60 seconds left. 30 seconds, final touches. Just trying to chill my ice cream, hope it sits. But, I mean, I've got 20 seconds left, so... It's a, it's a soft set ice cream, that's what we say. Time's up. Stop. At least it tastes good. <laughs> Thomas has made salmon and scallop ravioli and a salmon velouté with a herb oil and toasted sunflower seeds. I really like the texture of your pasta. I really love the flavour of lemon in the background of your velouté. I think that's brilliant. I think it's, it's an accomplished dish. That's an invention test from scraps. And I look down at that and I think, who would have ever known? That's good work. <laughs>